May, maybe nine, ten weeks, but not more than that. I'm Lee from the Oshkosh Beer Vlog. I'm Adam from the Ruby Owl Tap Room. The Ruby Owl Tap Room. Yeah. I mean, awesome. I, still, I still wear other hats, but that's yeah. the hat I'm wearing right now. Yeah, okay. So we were in here, uh, we were in this, this space uh, April, like 11 weeks ago. Okay. 11 weeks ago. Seems like less. I don't know why. And look at it now. Yeah. I mean, it's really turned into something. It has. It so has. we're at the Ruby Owl Tap Room, 421 North Main Street. North Main Street, just um, just south of Gardena's, we and Carlson Wines on the other side of the street. And you are now open for business. Yeah, open seven days a week, uh, Sunday through uh, Wednesday, three to midnight, and Thursday, Friday, Saturday, three until bar close. And, uh, well, I should say we're drinking um, Grain Belt. Green Belt Premium. Green Belt Premium. <laughs> Brost. Yeah. From uh, August Shell Brewing Company in New Ulm, Minnesota. It's we'll get good this morning. Yeah, we'll get into that because uh, that's not really the typical sort of beer you're having yeah. here, but it's here. Yeah. Um, but you have 30 taps. Yep. And you're calling it a gastro pub. Yeah, that's the that's the most succinct way of describing it. Is um, good food meets uh, good bar or good beer. And. Uh, so are, are you, with your meal, with your with your food, yeah, that kind of is going along with what you're doing beer wise. I mean, are you yeah, absolutely. It's kind of you know beer just by default is kind of a more casual thing, even though you know some of these craft beers are just crazy and you know more expensive than some fine wines. But it's the idea that there's a lot of interest in the details and, and making good beer is important. So making good um, kind of hearty food is is a perfect match for it, I guess. Cool. Well, I wanna I wanna talk about how you guys arrived here okay and it's not just you yeah I'm, it, no I, I no, mean no. what's who's who are the people why don't, why don't you uh, Julie Wolf the uh, the owner of the business Kyle Nickel our head chef uh, and then a, a great great core uh, will will Amaker is our bar manager and then a, a bunch of staff in addition to that who have worked their asses off to get this place open I mean it was a pretty quick ramp up here yeah yeah but it was if you look at I, I, cause I was thinking about this the other day this is kind of like a long time coming yeah I mean Gardena's opened at 448 North Main yeah 448 yep right? yep okay. 448 at North 448 Main. North Main uh, in 2010 yeah and then um, did, were you working there originally yeah I was right off the yep. bat okay yep. so then in 2012 you guys installed six draft lines yep. at Gardena's. Yep, absolutely. And at the end of 2012, you installed another six draft it lines. It was apparent that six was far too few for what we were featuring on tap. So, so. You, what ostensibly started up as Gardena's wine bar and cafe yeah. uh, sort of evolved into also yeah. a, Although, a beer place. to this day, we still get phone calls saying, do you serve anything other than wine, which is funny. <laughs> so. When you're branding something, be careful. <laughs> yeah, you, well, you never know where you're headed. You know? Well, exactly. That's true. Yeah. Okay, so then uh, in uh, August 2013, now I'm taking you way back. Okay. Here, that's when you started doing the uh, Gardena's Beer Bar series where yeah. you had a monthly cask tapping. Yep. So this thing kind of evolved, evolved in, with yeah. your interest in beer. Yeah, it, it certainly has. At what point did you start, or your whole group, start thinking about doing something like this? <laughs> Um, about 18 months to two years ago, we started to think that, um, you know, A, Gardenas is too small in general, and uh, B, you know, it'd be nice to be able to feature beer more prominently, not at the cost of everything else we're doing. So, and that being said, we're still committed, you know, wholeheartedly to craft beer at Gardenas and McDonald's Cross the Wines, but this is just in addition to that. And uh, we should clear that up. So. At Gardena's, you'll continue to have the, the store and back yep. where you'll yep. sell beer and wine. Yep, lots of same same thing we've always done. Okay, and then but the the cask the monthly cask tappings mm -hmm. that'll end there, right? That will end there. Um, we'll move cask tappings here. We'll have an opportunity to do beer dinners here. It's just it's a it's a better fit for a lot of things we wanted to do at Gardena's but couldn't do just because of the way that restaurant is laid out mm -hmm. and and what we do there. So this gives us an opportunity to kind of move to the next level of beer stuff that yeah. we wanted to do. 
And I don't, like, square footage wise, you were telling me, this is about the same size as it's, the It's roughly the same, but, but it, it feels big. It does it feel really a lot does. bigger. And, and, you know, with Gardena's, that was our first venture into the restaurant business, and we didn't really know what we were doing to be in one. <laughs> so, uh, comfortable saying that now, but, you know, laying it uh, out from the ground up the second time around is much easier, or a little bit easier anyway. And you can lay it out a little bit more intelligently and give yourself an opportunity to succeed that way. Yeah. So, Okay, so let's start focusing on what you have here now. Okay. So, Ruby Owl Tap Room. Yeah. And the tap part of this is 30 draft lines. Yes. Behind this. Yeah. Like, uh, tell us your plans for what, what you're envisioning for this. Well, um, as it stands right now, we'll have 18 tap lines that are kind of stationary. Every day you come in, they're the same. Maybe change them once or twice a year, but we've kind of, I think we've honed in on 18, 18 different breweries we're really happy to have on tap that we want to feature and, and, and pretty much 18 different beer styles too so that you come in and that there's there's something for everyone. So for those 18 dedicated taps, is yeah. that dedicated to a brewery or a particular beer from that brewery? Um, both. Okay, both. so that'll yeah. change as it as yep. goes along. Yep, yeah. exactly. So for instance, like Central Waters, Horseshoes and Hand Grenades, American Pale Ale, I think is is the best uh, year-round beer that Central Waters makes. We, we, we wanted to have that on tap. Um, Green Bell Premium. <laughs> And, ev and everyday uh, drinking beer that we thought was pretty nice yeah. and, and warranted a uh, warranted a spot instead of a Bud Miller or Coors. Well, I think this is interesting. So let's talk about Grand Double a yeah. little bit. This is a like, you know, really old. I think this brand was like 1893 or something yeah. like that, and from the Minneapolis Brewing Company. But you don't see it on draft anywhere. No. And, and but what's the price point on this? What do you? Uh, Two fifty a pint. Okay. So you've got. 29 taps of yeah. all, you know, very robust beer. Yeah. And uh, what would you think of this as? Like your, your cool down beer? Or your yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's it's lawnmower beer. It's whatever you need it to be. Yeah. If you wanna, if you wanna, I mean, see we have uh, 10 TVs here, which is the total opposite of Guardians, where we have zero TVs. So if you wanna come in here and watch, watch a Packer game or what have you and have just a couple of beers and not feel like you're weighed down by a 10% imperial yeah. stout or big double IPA or just want something crisp and clean. Yeah. You gotta have that. It's, so. a, it's, it's, it's a decent beer, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a drinker, bad. it's uh, a little on the sweet side. It's it got is, that kind of it Midwestern, is. you know? Yeah. But we shouldn't really focus on this, do we? Yeah. This is not really <laughs> what this place is about. Like, no. what are you looking forward to doing with this tap list? I mean, well, I mean, the, the oh, yeah. we talked about the first 18 taps. The the second, uh, the 12 taps that are, those will be rotating constantly with kind of the heavy hitters, if you will, with really, really unique stuff, a lot of sours, a lot of barrel-aged beers, a lot of double IPAs, limited releases, and that's really where we're kind of the curation part is, is fun because you can really kind of bring bring an element to downtown that's not really here right now, even even with Gardena's, you know, being yeah. down here. And, and you had talked about, uh, I know when you were first talking about this plan, about doing some um, cellared beers, too. Yeah. Is that still yep. Uh, that, the that is the goal. Um, we're, we're trying to build our, our business right now and not we're trying to make sure we do everything well before we you know start bringing in other elements but that is that's a short-term goal I mean we, we will have that and, and the the thought behind that is that you know if you go into a great restaurant they you know a lot of them have a nice wine list um, you know not many of them have, have a nice cellar beer list so I, no. I'd love to see you know a bunch of stemmed beer glasses on a table with a couple people sharing you know some big bottles of, of good aged beer I mean I think so you brought up glassware yeah Right, Let's, uh, right there. Get off camera. Here. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna kind of. Uh, so what is this? this so is gonna be that's your... our. Uh, we we offer all of our our 30 uh, 30 beers in a five ounce pour. So if if you want to come in, create your own flight, or just just sample one or two in the five ounce pour, and not have to commit. We think that's a great way of doing it. We also have our uh, our Rubiel. Uh, I'm calling it our house glass. Okay. Uh, so which, that'll be the standard sort of. Yeah, thing. yeah. I mean, for if, if there's a beer or beer style, I. It's kind of arbitrary. I just said, sure. Help put that one in the house class. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, now, as far as uh, beer events going on here, yeah. When are you going to start up with the monthly? Um, I'm. Are you I'm hoping. Wait you settle down. I or? think we're going to do our first one in July. Um, I've got a couple, couple lined up. Uh, I think the first one we'll be doing is uh, New Belgium and Friends for their. Uh, I think it's their the 25th anniversary of uh, oh, sure. Fat Tire. Yep. Uh, I'm sorry, Fat Tire and Friends is what it's called. So we've got we've got the whole lineup of those and a few other new Belgian beers in the cellar that'll we make for a pretty good event and get, maybe get a, a rep here. Cool, cool. So you can look for that. What uh, like what else would you like to want people to know about 
what you've got going well, on Well, I just, it's, it's a casual atmosphere. The food is going to be, it is good. I mean, it's, it's just, it's very interesting food. And it's, it's burgers and fries on the surface, but so much more than that. And it just, it's a really comfortable place. I mean, it's, there's no pretense. It's just a, another nice place to go in downtown Oshkosh. Yeah. It'll be a great draw for downtown. Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, it's, it's such a nice downtown now with all the, all the uh, businesses and restaurants. So now that you've finally arrived, yeah. Uh, are you feeling more relaxed or is it? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know. Or does the tension we've, we've, just start now? We've opened the doors. It's, it's a different set of, uh, set of stress now. Once, now, it's, now it's making sure the customer is having a, a world-class experience, hopefully. Cool, cool. Yeah. Well, congratulations, Adam. Hey. This is great. Cheers, Lee. Thanks a lot. Prost.